are out here at the intersection of North Claiborne and St. Philip. Behind me, you can see that building that just collapsed from all this severe weather. Now, I did speak to the owner of this building. He said he actually just purchased it not that long ago. That was about nine months ago. He tells me he does not have insurance. Authorities tell me that two men have been injured. They were kind of not inside of it, but somewhere in the area. We've got Mr. Miller joining us live this morning with the emergency managers. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Tell us, what is the most new information you can provide to us with this? So, uh, as you mentioned, we've got two buildings uh, that suffered a, a uh, heavy storm damage here between St. Philip, Ursuline off North Claiborne. The fire department is currently investigating reports of other storm damage in the area and storm damage over on Kellerack. And then we've got some reports of uh, moderate to severe storm damage in the Bywater. So we're investigating those. Uh, we've got public safety crews en route. Our police, fire and EMS are doing a fantastic job getting to these sites. And about how, I know it's so early in, this, in the game right now, but how many structures have been damaged that you'll have assessed? Do, do we know a number yet? So I, I can tell you for sure that we've got four that have been assessed for moderate to severe storm damage, but uh, the emergency operations center is receiving reports of light to moderate storm damage throughout the city. That could be anything from shingles blown off to gutters uh, come off the side of a building. Uh, and so we're cataloging all of those and investigating them, uh, you know, the most severe ones first. And we know two men were injured here. Their injuries are very minor. Are there any other injuries that have occurred from this? Uh, so we've received no reports of additional injuries. Uh, I want to stress that two people injured, uh, non-life-threatening, very minor injuries, as you mentioned. And those individuals are outside the structure. Uh, and that's one of the things we want to point out. When that severe weather comes, when it starts to rain, when you hear that thunder and lightning, seek shelter indoors. You don't need to be outside. Debris, live wires, those sorts of things pose a danger. And I know it's so early right now. Is this damage is there any suspicions that this could have been straight line winds or a tornado or talk about that? So the National Weather Service uh, takes the storm damage report information right. that we provide them. They go back through the radar history. They send out uh, storm damage assessment teams. They'll make those conclusions. Uh, right now, our job is to make sure the public is safe. That's our first priority. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you. So guys, again, that's the latest going on right here. As you can see behind me, this is just one of the uh, damages out here. We're out here at North Claiborne and St. Philip. Two men were injured. Those injuries are described as non-life threatening. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this story and bring you any new details, of course, as it does become available. Back to you.